<laughs> the lips get me every time. <laughs> I've never actually done a video like this, but this is about to be a maintenance vlog. It's maintenance week for me. I realized that all of my appointments ended up landing all on the same week all together. So I'm going to be showing you exactly where I go here in Atlanta to do my regular maintenance things, waxes, managing my hair color, uh, what else are we doing? Nails, face stuff. Like, actually, I... Um, I thread my face so y'all are gonna see all that well I'll probably wax it this time but yeah y'all are gonna see everything all the things that I get up to to maintain myself it's really nothing complicated but I figured it'd be interesting to share so today is Sunday I'm getting my Brazilian it's my favorite Sunday of the month I do this once a month and I absolutely love it there is a Kroger next door so I usually just head over there and grab some sushi so it's like a whole I call it my special wax Sunday okay it's a whole vibe I love it so much so I'm actually getting ready to head out the house right now we're going comfy today every time I go and get a wax I like to wear like cotton bottoms and then just something really relaxing, super chill. This is my 30 years t-shirt, which I'm absolutely loving. Shout out to you, John and Katie. So time to get started with my special wax Sunday. Let's go. Hershey, mama's gotta go, okay? Mama's good to go, oh, my sweet girl. I gotta go. You stay here and you be a good girl, okay? Give mama a kiss. Good girl. <laughs> Here I am running late as freaking usual. <laughs> I don't know why I'm this way. Anyways, um, so the place I like to get my Brazilians that I love and trust so much is European Wax Center. Oh, they're the best. Um, so you can go ahead, ooh, why is the lighting like this? You can actually go on their website and type in your zip code I think and find like the nearest one in your area but I love them so so much my wax lady tank is my girl I love her she's currently on maternity leave so I've been going to other ladies at European Wax Center but honestly all of them are just so good um so that's where I'm headed right now freaking late don't go there late you only have nine minutes after your appointment otherwise you're screwed so I I am like <laughs> trying to get there <laughs> We made it, y'all. Oh my god, I'm trying to put my shoes on. Where are my shoes? One, two. Because I have come out of the car with like two different shoes on before, so I gotta make sure. <laughs> we made it. Only five minutes late, so. The lips get me every time. <laughs> and we're done. Oh my gosh. I love getting a good wax. Honestly, it puts me in such a good mood. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> if you don't wax, you need to. It's so good. When I used to shave like years ago, I had so many like dark spots, ingrown hairs. I would deal with all the things. And ever since I've been waxing consistently, I literally have been going once a month. Well, pre there was a little, you know, a little hiccup when we went into quarantine last year. But besides that, like every month, like clockwork. And it has been life-changing for my skin. Zero dark marks. So I will say if you're going to wax for your first time full Brazilian, it hurts like hell the first time. But I promise you, the more often you keep doing it, the less it hurts. So you just got to get through that first appointment. It hurts like hell. And then it just gets better and better and easier and easier. Because your hairs don't actually take as deep of a root once you start waxing regularly. I just love it. I love it. 100% 12 out of 10 recommend so now it's time for the second half of special wax Sunday. we just gonna grab some sushi why because I deserve this is literally my um, routine and so it's to the point now where when I wax right afterwards I start craving sushi because it's my thing now <laughs> Okay, so Kroger hooked it up. So we've got tuna and salmon, and I asked the guy if he could put a little spicy sauce on top, and he said, bless him. And then he actually found me some grilled dumplings in the back, shrimp, 
very happy about that um so whenever you go to kroger if you don't see these out always ask the little sushi guy he'll hook it up happy monday today i have my hair appointment I'm very very excited so you guys have seen my hair color vlogs if you haven't and you're interested in learning more about my color process i kind of did it in two sessions it was really two sessions that brought me to where i am right now we've got a little ombre vibe um, but i did do vlogs about those so if you're interested in seeing those details i will link it up here and in the description box below um but yeah so today is just should be a fairly quick um salon session we're not adding any additional color this time we're literally just toning and maintaining as you can see the color it's really not like terrible but i would like to tone it just ever so slightly so we can kind of prevent it from going like too copper you know what i mean i don't, I don't want to go too orange <laughs> although i love orange orange is one of my favorite colors but uh yeah so it's just a quick toning sesh wash and style maybe we'll do a little treatment today and that is it for my color maintenance In. look at how shiny they are like the more that I go to crystal the healthier my hair gets and it's just flourishing and I'm loving every bit of it oh Monday was a success and look at us starting off the week with some popping curls by tomorrow they're gonna be nice and like it's gonna have way more volume and it's just really gonna be popping so I'm very excited we even went in with a little bit of curl dusting so didn't really take off any length but got rid of some scraggly ends that really needed to go so as usual crystal kills it I am so happy and I'm obsessed not only does it look good it feels really really good I expect nothing less though she kills it every single time but yeah successful Monday I'm very happy I'm about to rush home and eat because your girl is hungry Okay, so it's Wednesday, this is day three hair. I've actually been trying this brand new nighttime like hairstyle. Instead of doing a full pineapple, I just do like a half up pineapple thing situation. I feel like because my hair is getting so much longer that this has been a little bit more effective. I'm still kind of testing it out, but so far so good. We got zero frizz. Let's go ahead and take this out and get my hair ready for the day. Do you see this? It literally came out of the hairstyle in perfection. I mean, <laughs> Crystal really slayed my life. She really does. Every single time she does, but I just feel like also every single time I go, my hair is doing better and better. <sighs> I'm just so happy that I finally found a salon and a hairstylist specifically that I absolutely love and absolutely trust 100%. It is like the best thing ever. So I'm just gonna fluff it out just a little bit so we can get a little bit of additional volume for today and then boom, that's it. We fluff and go over here, okay? All right, so I'm basically about ready to go. So for today, it's gonna be my last two appointments. So I'm gonna go get these nails sorted out. Let me show you the situation. So these are my nails currently. You can see they've kind of grown out quite a bit. This is a really cute little design. I absolutely loved it. Lately, I've been playing around with a lot of color. I don't know what summer is doing to me, but it's just making me play with color. Uh, so my last two sets of nails had a little bit of color. Today, I'm feeling for nude. I'm definitely itching to go back for a little bit of nude. I'm talking solid color nude, no design, nothing. I just want a really plain and simple nail. I'm also going for a pedicure, very excited about that. And this is actually gonna be my first time getting gel polish on my toenails. I'm not even gonna do it to y'all. I'm not even gonna show you the state of my nails right now. My toes, they're just, it's like so grown out and it's chipping and it's just, it's not cute. It's not cute. So we're going to be doing it nails today. And then my second and final appointment is going to be my brows, but not just my brows. 
my face as well we're talking hair removal i'm a very hairy girl i'll show you guys a little bit later but i'm very very excited for these appointments let's get my life all the way together so we'll have hair popping face and brows pop like what this is amazing tech 100% snap today remember when I said I was just gonna get like solid color chill but I was kind of feeling like maybe I want just a little bit more than a solid color so we decided on this cute little line art if I could just get this camera to focus I mean so cute so the last thing I need to do to fully get myself together is my brows and my face so let me give y'all a quick before these are my brows right now um you can see they're just like out of shape i'm also a very very hairy person so you can see my brow hairs go all the way up to like here even on my forehead i've got hair like all here if you look on my cheek i'm really hoping that the camera is like picking this up um but if you look at my skin here especially on my cheek i have a lot of hair on my face and i i know it's a little dramatic because i'm like a lot of hair it's not like a lot of hair it's the very fine hairs but they piss me off <laughs> i got it threaded once and i was like this is game changer i feel like my skincare absorbed better into my skin and all of that so um today i'm actually not gonna get it threaded though i'm gonna get it waxed as well as waxing my brows i'm going to a place called inga bailey brows this is not my usual place my usual place is vp brows but yvonne is crazy booked up i slept on my booking so i didn't have anything she didn't have anything until end of august so I was like, I cannot wait until then. One of her colleagues or her friends, I think it's, I think Inga's a friend of hers. So Yvonne actually put me on to Inga Bailey's brows. So this is actually my first time getting my face and my brows done by her. But I'm very, very excited. She only does wax though, I think. I don't think she does threading. Um, but I'm excited, I'm excited. So this is something that I do on a monthly basis everything actually in this video is all like monthly basis pretty much except for nails sometimes will be every two to three weeks depending on whatever my situation content whatever um but yeah very excited to finally get rid of all this hair on my face i hate it and i'm ready for it to be gone but first i'm gonna stop for a really quick lunch break i'm outside of a poke bowl place so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that and then we'll head up to Inga Bailey Rose. <laughs> Okay, so it's eyebrows and face for uh -huh. me. Um, my brows haven't been done in a while, so just need like a nice like reshape. Well, yeah, just like a, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I looked at, I stopped your page. <laughs> but um, yeah, just like a nice little reshape. And uh -huh. then um, my face is also like very hairy to okay. me. <laughs> So I just wanted to get rid of everything on my face, okay. except for the brows, okay. basically. Okay. And you wax, right? Yes. Okay. I usually thread, but I saw, I was looking at your videos about how you say wax is actually better. Yeah, than especially threading. for shaping, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and are you on like any medication on your skin, like retin, accutane, differin? No, not medicine, but like I'll use retinol products sometimes, okay. yeah. So is this wax good for um, sensitive skin? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so I use a cream wax, it's very gentle. Awesome. Um, a lot of people use um, wax like honey wax, all purpose wax. Yeah. Um, and they think, oh, all purpose, you can use it all over, but it's the same wax that's used on like your body hair as well. Right. And which is a different type of hair texture. Yeah. Uh, and a different type of skin. So usually people, when they get wax with that um, wax on the face, they break out because it's too harsh. Right. Guys, that was such a nice experience. Look at my brows. I know she she filled them in like a little bit with her pencil, which I ended up buying because it's literally so good. But the shape, like it's the shape for me. It I already booked my next appointment because <laughs> this is so nice. I absolutely loved every second of being in there. She also does ombre brows, so that's something I'll potentially consider. Please don't hit my car. So I feel good. I feel great. My skin, all the hairs are gone. That lip though, the lip was the most painful part. Um, but I'm very, 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 very happy with the way that that whole appointment went. The little studio is cute. She was really nice. I'm obsessed with her shaved hair. <laughs> She's got me wanting to shave my hair, y'all. Y'all already know the deal with me, though. <laughs> Love my length, and then the next day, I want to shave it off. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for maintenance week this week. So my next thing to find in Atlanta is an esthetician. I want to be able to go to someone for my skin on a consistent basis that knows my skin and it has, like, like nose skin really, really good. So I'm in the process of looking for an esthetician if you guys know any please comment down below like i'm really trying to find somebody who i can trust to help me keep this skin all together go for regular facials all that okay We're, we 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 gotta take this seriously okay let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a facial appointment if with an esthetician when i find one I, there's construction going on so it's very distracting right now <laughs> probably hear it um but yeah let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing my next esthetician appointment whenever that will be and i'll take you guys along for that too but i hope you enjoy this this is so much fun i am feeling good nails done brows done skin oh, my skincare is going to just soak right into my skin it's not gonna sit on top of my facial hairs it's gonna soak right in and i cannot wait anyways guys that is about to be it for this vlog today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one bye